guys, man? Welcome back to the channel. Probably a lot of you guys welcome to the channel for the first time. Um, man, my goal this season is really to break 80. You know, I've been kind of shooting, you know, mid 80s to mid 90s, you know, just to be honest. And, you know, my goal is really to try to, uh, you know, break that 80. I really All right, you guys, par four, 358. This is the fun hole at my OG course here in the Fox Valley in Wisconsin. Shout out to Winnie Gaming. This is number six, a little water up there, but definitely more than I can drive. So let's just put one up here nice and straight. I'm always on the right side by the trees. So let's just avoid that today. Perfect, let's go. All right, right down the middle. What's important is the next shot. 113 yards in. He's gonna give it a nice, easy pitching wedge. You know, it's one of those things, I think about putting stuff on YouTube, you know, they say my distances. Oh yeah, 100 and, 112 yards, pitching wedge. People think, pitching wedge? Come on, we gotta put one tight. Let's go. Birdie putts, let's go. All right, you guys, a little birdie putt. Looks like about six feet. Six, six, seven feet. And you know how it goes, it's about capitalizing when you get here. Most times I'm not in this position to begin with. So you would be really hoping that you could drop one here for bird. Let's see, it looks like about left edge. Let's just put a nice roll on it and see what happens. pushed it. Gosh. All right, par. I'll take it. See, that's disappointing for me. When I'm in the position for a birdie and I can't convert, it hurts because it doesn't happen often. You feel me? How are you guys? Another little par four, 380 yards. It's got a nice dog leg to the left here. I could cut the trees and be super aggressive, so maybe we'll try that. But other than that, we're just going to put a nice one up there. I don't want to be too aggressive. Let's see what happens. Should be good. Okay, hopefully not too far, but I cut the trees pretty good there. Let's go. All right, good drive. Super good drive right down here in the middle of the fairway. You know, it's funny as like a pretty intermediate golfer, I have a good drive and I'm walking up to my ball and I'm thinking, don't mess it up. But you can't think like that. You got to be aggressive and relax. 170 in, I got a six iron. Just wanna put one up close. Come on, come back. Uh, a little bit left. All right, you guys, tough little I don't think I'd probably just splash a little 58 degree up there. It sounds so nice when I'm saying it. Mm, a little high up on that ridge. Let's see what happens on a putt. We got like a 20 footer, 15 feet for par. A couple of back to back pars would be nice. Lay one up, just drop one in, scare the hole. As Mr. Kwan says, shout out all the good, good guys, Luke Kwan, pioneers. Didn't break at all. Well, there's a bogey for you. All right, par bogey. Let's see if we can get it back. This is a par five, next hole. Maybe we can uh, birdie this. Let's do it. We still got over 300 yards. I got my two hybrid. I'm gonna see if we can really put something up there nice. I hit this club good when I hit it good. And didn't hit it good. All right, 225 after that shank. I got my three hybrid now. 
I really would like to put something up close. That will be good. What a shot. Let's go. All right, you guys, got about 46 yards. Pins way in front. I'd rather be a little bit short than long, so I have a nice kind of uphill something, but let's see what we can do here for a shot. That would have been so good if I went straight. What was that? Pretty bad <coughs> for shot. So I'm hoping I can maybe chip this in. All right, so you do all that work for nothing. It's a little more than a tap in, but we should be able to make this. All right, bogey, two over through three. Could be worse. Let's go. All right, hole number nine on the front here. Par three, 152 yards. We started in hole six. This is hole number four for us guys, and we're gonna play until whatever nine holes is. It was rainy today. So I didn't really exactly want to record when it was super wet. Let's put one up here nice. Oh, thin for the win. Oh boy, I don't know. I don't know if we're dancing. I think we might be passed a little bit on the right hand side. Man, it's tough. I really feel like I haven't been making the best contact today necessarily. I've had some decent shots, but I really haven't, you know, hit those mid irons super solid. Like I just hit my seven iron off the tee and kind of thinned it. I think it went the distance actually. I think I went a little far, but nonetheless, I really want to focus on my contact. Sometimes I get so caught up in the score and I think a golfer at my level, it's really better just to focus on fundamentals um, and making good contact. So, it looks like I am just on the fringe. Maybe I'll chip this and uh, see if we can get in for, maybe chip in for birdie or at least par. All right, you guys, on the fringe here. Actually, one of my more favorite shots in golf. I got a pitching wedge in hand. I would love to chip this in. Slow down, slow down. Ah, oh, I got a little aggressive on it. I really want to chip it in. See, once again, kind of thinking about that and not distance control. Come on, I'd like to make this. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, three over through four. I want those to drop so bad. It's number 10, this is a par four. A little slight dog leg to the right. 310 yards. For all my long hitters out there, you could probably drive this. Unfortunately, I don't think I can do that. But I'd put one up close and let's see if we can uh, maybe get one back here. Pretty good. All right, man, pretty darn good. Left side of the fairway. 50 yards, second shot. Put one up here, maybe we can get close for a nice birdie look. Oh my goodness, I just missed that rough, or it would have went right down. All right, a little fringy. Got my pitching wedge in hand. I would really like to chip this in. We do have a little bit of a slope there, so I don't want to go too aggressive. So let's see what we can do here. Like that, not what I wanted to do, guys. Sit down. Oh, why do I make things so difficult sometimes? Tough par looks. Got about a five footer. You know, I, at the same time, I can't be upset with myself. I guess giving myself par looks at a decent putt. I should be able to make this. I think my line's pretty good. If I can have my speed right, come on. Let's go. That's a good par. All right, you guys, number 11 here, par four, 400 yards. 
This is our sixth hole. Right now, currently, we are three over through five. Let's see if we can get one back. Par four here, par five on the next one. Dead straight, baby. I'm driving the ball well. All right, let's see what we can do here. We are three over through five. Nice drive here on the sixth hole. Let's just keep it up. I'm also winded from walking. All right, let's see what happens in the second shot. All right, you guys, 180 yards. Got the flag. I got a five iron in hand. I just want to make good contact every shot. That's the goal here. Not like that. It's 100 yards. Got a 50 degree. Disappointing after such a good drive. You know, I do stuff like that. Be the number. Come on, go. Oh, a little short. Okay, well, here I am in the same usual predicament. If I could chip this in for par, that would be sweet. But really, up and down for bogey. Let's put one close. Not horrible. Let's see if we can putt now. This is an important putt right here. I really was trying to avoid a double all day. I really want this putt. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I thought it was in for sure. Well, that is definitely a dagger. Well, there is a six on a par four. It's par five, 514 yards. We are now five over through six because of that nice double on the last hole. I think I got underneath it a little bit. So not as far as I'd like, but she went perfectly straight. Beggars can't be choosers. So we are on a nice par five now, five over through six. I mean, honestly, bogey golf is pretty normal for me usually have maybe a few more pars, a couple birdies here and there. And to be quite frank with you, some doubles, maybe the occasional triple as well. So to be, you know, five over through six, nothing too glamorous, but um, if we want to break 80, we're going to have to eliminate doubles and really uh, try to work on those pars. All right, 295 second shot. I got my two hybrid. If I could hit a draw, I'd probably draw it around these trees, but I can't, at least not on command. So we're gonna try to go up over that naked tree there, two hybrid. I would like to uh, hit a really good one here. <sighs> All right, highly disappointing. Second shot after being right in the fairway. Now I'm in the bunker. I'm gonna try to just pick this ball up over the trees, four iron. That would be super, super nice. Get over, it could be so good. Let me rake this bunker. All right, well, unfortunately it was not as good as I thought. I got hit these trees. Got about eight, 75 yards. I really don't know what I wanna do here. I guess I'm just gonna to try to punch it through back on my stance, seven iron, and see if we can get up there. Sit down. Well, you're coming to make a mess of this hole. A little par chip, I need this to be good. It's gonna roll down there, so it doesn't need to be much, but enough. Not enough. Long, long bogey putts. See, this is what really kills the confidence. And you played pretty decent, and you have a hole that just kind of kicks your ass. But oh, just missed it. Good roll. Well, back-to-back -back doubles. Never good on a par five. Makes me sick. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, unfortunately, that was another double, which puts us now 
So seven over through seven. Not the best. The camera's gonna die here. I wasn't really prepared on uh, batteries and all that. It's my first time really getting the channel going on a real YouTube golf video. Finish off with two doubles. Not what you wanna see, but I appreciate everybody if you stuck around this far. Comment, like, subscribe, share. We're trying to take this stuff over this year. But yeah, that's uh, gonna be a wrap on the seven holes today. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.